One yin. Good. Nice and wide, pull your body up. Rest your hands down on your thighs, open up the fingers. Pull your head up towards the ceiling. Keep pulling upwards until you can feel an engagement in the center of your back. Close your eyes, put your tongue to the roof of your mouth. With each breath, just bring your breath down to be a little slower, a little softer, a little deeper. Now be conscious of where your breath is. Now breathing in, fill up your chest. Breathing out, let the breath fall down through you. Breathing in, fill up your belly. Fill up your chest. Breathing out, let your body relax, let the breath fall down through you and take all the tension with it. Breathing in again, filling up your belly, filling up your chest. And as you breathe out, let all that tension go. You have four more breaths of your own. Engage your mind, your body and your will. Focus only on your breathing. When you finish those beautiful slow breaths, <clears throat> then open your palms, face them to the heavens. Beautiful. Now breathing in. Bring your palms back to your dantian, palm on top of palm. The feminine is left over right, the masculine is right over left. Pull it to the belly, right into your dantian. Now we're after some pre-birth energy. So breathe into your palms. Breathe out from your palms, into your belly. Breathe in. Breathe out. Now you neutral. Back to breathe out, letting all your energy go through all the pre-birth channels. Opening your palms again, breathing in, breathing out. Now allow your hands to bring your energy around your body. The, uh, the word aura wasn't used in the old days. Breathe out, that's a fairly modern word. 
You have your own energy around you. You're now equalizing that energy with the energy within you. Breathing out. Sinking your energy down into your body. Fantastic. Let your head fall. Chin touch your chest. Breathing in, up through your body. Lifting your head. Head full, chin to your chest. And again, two more times. Same on the screen. back up to the center once you're finished. Now breathing in, turn your head, keep your tongue to the roof of your mouth, your mouth gently closed, you get a flex. Breathing out. Keep it upright, breathing in, other side. Breathing out, it's just a consistency of release. Breathing in. Breathing out. Breathing in. Breathing out. Now breathing in. Let your ear fall down to your shoulder. Breathing out, bringing it back up. Breathing in. Now one of the reasons we're breathing in as we do a lot of these movements is to be quite full, quite tight in the upper body and the, around the lungs, breathing in. We allow the lungs to do the stretching for us internally. Breathe out. One more. Back to the center. Make sure your knees are unlocked. Breathing in, turn from the ankles, knees, hips, shoulders. Breathing out. The other way, breathing in. Last thing to turn is your head. Breathing out, first thing to turn back is your head. Breathing in again. Breathing out, keep your hands close to your thighs, it creates a tension. And again. Breathing out. Let your head fall. Breathing in. Nice rotation. Round we go. Breathing out across the front. Now it's only the head we're working with, breathing in. Letting the head become quite heavy, breathing out. This helps to consistently flex tendons and ligaments on the upper shoulders as well as the neck. Other way, breathing in. Good, heavy head, breathing out. And again. And again. Bring your head up nice and straight. Beautiful. Now pull your shoulder points back, lean your body forward. Point your chin, lift your chin. Tongue to the roof of the mouth, three gentle breaths. You'll feel it pulling at the throat. 
You know, the tendons and ligaments are pulling, but it's also stretching. Your esophagus, trachea, arteries, veins, all of them are muscular in their designs. Once you finish those three, bring it back. Point of the chin right back into the neck. Make the rhomboids stand up or at the other side of the neck. Three slow breaths. When you finish those slow breaths, relax. Let the shoulder points go down. Pull your head down, breathing in. Let them come up. Breathing out, pull your head out. Breathing in. Breathing out. Breathing in. Breathing out. Breathing in, breathing out. Other way, pull your head down, breathing in, breathing out. Fantastic, now raise those arms up and just soften the hands. Work the wrist, good rotation. Other way. Keep those hands and wrists being articulate for the rest of your life. We really do need the precision of those hands. And then, after the elbows, feel the head of the humerus working in the shoulders. Other way. Starting to get a little tired, that's the plan. Open it out into the shoulders. Get a good rotation working. Other way. Just to zing it a little bit into your shoulders. Bring it out to the side. Looks so simple, doesn't it? Huh? Bring that lactic acid into the small tissues, tendons, ligaments. Not after the muscles. Go the other way. Has a different effect if we keep it into the tendons and ligaments and the shoulders. We need to work them. Side. Beautiful. And gently relax. Pop your feet together for a moment. Let your hands come around and down. Like being a soldier, keeping everything as tight as we can. Make sure your shoulder points are back. Lifting the center of your head upwards. Beautiful. Now the whole idea of this is that your hands Fingertips will be pushed down the seams of your trousers and your head will be lifting to the ceiling. So on the next out breath, push the fingers down. On the next in breath, lift the head, pull your posture up. Leave it there, breathe out, push the fingers down a bit further. Breathe in. Breathe out. 
Breathe in. Breathe out. And just two more breaths of your own. When you finish those two breaths, let your body relax quickly and it should feel quite postural. Everybody good? There we go. Make sure your feet are a little bit wide. Now the aim of the game is to bring those fingers down again and to open this. All right, now you can see my body's forward. Once it gets to around about that height, we're gonna turn this to here and continue upwards. Breathing in, of course, and then breathing out. So the aim of the exercise is to open up the ribs, both front and back ribs. So breathing in. Breathing out. Breathing in. Breathing out. Each time, try and go a little further. Breathing out, not trying to hurt you, but just go a little bit further. Each one improving the one that follows. Face the front, make sure you get a bend in your knees, push your belly forward, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in. and again, We're slowly getting there. Bring your left foot forward, step forward. Now this is rolling hands so in front. Now remember with rolling hands what the aim of the game is. It's got to be circular. There is rise and fall. There is heavy and light. And we are using the circles within our body to create a straight line in front of us. So those fingers should be rolling right in front of your face with a consistency. Thank you. Beautiful. Don't forget to breathe. It's not meant to be done super slow. Uh, it's meant to be done at a slow walking pace. So essentially, that's it. We're not going to go too slow with the movement. Make sure your heels and your toes are strongly coming off the ground. Take a step back. Same. It's only one turn of the hands through the whole back and forward. One hand is timing the movements, creates an inner coordination. It's weight bearing, which makes it similar to walking. And it doesn't have hard impact. So if you're carrying injuries, etc., you can do this far easier than walking if you've got an injured ankle or an injured knee. Feet and back again. It's one turn of the hands. 
forward, one turn of the hands back, lifting up your feet creates a coordination, it's kind of the equivalent of rubbing your tummy and patting your head at the same time. Very much the same footwork we're using Yuchu and Kung Fu. The heel to toe action, the lifting of the knee, so we don't shuffle. On the next forward action, take another step and back. Now again, the hips, the knees, everything has got the rotation in it to try and keep that line straight in front of you. All the circles of your body need to be working. Try not to stop. Everything is constant and consistent. Last one, open, breathing in and breathing out. Remember to settle that energy down through you, to slow your breathing, take a little longer to breathe out. Breathing in, take a little shorter to breathe in, take a little longer to breathe out. Allow the energy to settle down through your body. Take a moment or two to stretch you, flex you. Right. You can be a little narrow, but make sure your feet are apart. Give yourself a hug. Just bring that hand around here. Hold your elbow. And with your shoulders quite still, pull this across. of a hug. I'm watching Sajur Heather creeping across the floor like a little mouse. See a little mouse? Cool. Beautiful. Now you do very much the same thing. This hand comes up over the top, rest it against the spine. Set the elbow by pulling this down. And then eventually, once those fingers are on your spine, your head is upright, release it, keep them there. You can feel it's not easy to keep it there, so you have to use a lot of concentration, a lot of muscle, tendons and ligaments. Feel it stretching up through your back, not just your shoulder. Breathing out and relax that, downwards. Other one, up, over, help it. Get your head up nice and straight, pull it up. Good. Let it go, hold it there. On the out breath, bring it down. Should feel pretty easy. Breathing out. Now we want to work through your stretching through your legs. Breathing out. So it'll be pretty traditional with this. Bring your feet in a little bit. Fantastic. Keep this foot pretty much to the front. Cross your chest. Over we go. Breathing in, 
breathing out, back to the center, picking up your feet each time, breathing in, breathing out, breathing in, breathing out, still prefer the hard floors, breathing in, breathing out, and again, Two more. Rest your hands down, walk your foot out, walk your back foot out. So you've got a pretty long stance here. Make sure you can still bend your knees forward, make sure your back foot's not turned outwards but turned inwards. All right, join your fingers for a moment. Breathe out, breathing in, push forward, breathe out, breathing in, push forward, breathe out, breathing in, push forward, breathe out. Two more. If you feel better about it, you can cross these. Give you that nice white crane look. Bring your foot in, bring your other foot in. Do exactly the same thing on the other side. Give yourself a good stance. Breathe out. Breathing in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Behind on yourself, come forward, back. Very good. Figure, little prayer. Breathing in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Down. Two more. Time for a little sip of water. All right, relax yourselves for a moment. Cheers, cheers. All right, give yourself two minutes. Have a, make sure you're hydrated. I'll go and find my water. There it is. It's over here. Nobody have whiskey? No whiskey. No gin and tonics. All right. You saw that thing I sent out? What was it? A, a chunk? A drunk? What was it, Daddy? The four things that are going to end up with? I can't remember now. I think I'll resend it again. All right. But, uh, you know, at the end of the COVID, we're going to end up being a chunk like me. All right. Or a drunk. Not like me. I don't drink that much. All right. But there was two other things, but it was quite clever. Quite clever. All right, so everybody good? All right. So just so for the Kung Fu people, uh, uh, which there is two in the room, um, the Kung Fu people, it's very important for you to grasp that the um, eight pieces of brocade, the eight silk forms, were the bases of a lot of things. Um, to say that was the basis of martial arts is far-fetched but it certainly is a basis of movement of energy within your body, which over a period of time, between three to 5,000 years, right, it really would have been supported by the physical action that you do in martial arts, 
it would have been supported by the energy actions that you learn in Feng Shui. All right, so you get the idea is that, that this is all kind of joined together. All right, we also have a basic theory of the five elements. Uh, we talk on those elements. We also have a basic theory, fear, um, theory on Yi, which is our mindset, how we think, you know. Uh, from a martial arts point of view, we are not crazy, we're not angry, we're not trying to get even. All right, so because of that, you're coming into this with a mindset of being calm and efficient, right, if you get what I'm saying. So even in this, we have a Yi process, meaning that we're after our mindset, our intention, our concentration, our focus, right? Not necessarily easy things to keep, is it, Samuel? Not easy things to keep. So we just gotta make sure that, you know, we're getting something from this besides just movement, all right? Now, in between each one, we settle the energy. I'll say this to you very clearly. We don't settle energy well. Our Western society and even Eastern society that we're pushed to be productive all the time has very little time to stand and just smell the flowers for a moment. Very little time to bring that energy around you, right? So think on this for a moment. Now, how many times have you been down to the edge of the water, right? Whether that's a beach or uh, the edge of the water. Like I, I had a, um, uh, a rental property over in Auckland where I could stand on a deck and literally look out into the Pacific Ocean. Next stop is Tahiti. All right, and the energy coming to me was just amazing. I love doing my Qigong on that deck. All right, um, and also you know, go to a rainforest or you go somewhere there's energy and all you want to do for a minute is just stand there and let the energy around you permeate you. All right, this is kind of a real human nature thing. So try and get that out of the eight pieces of the brocade. Okay, so let's go. Feet apart for a moment. I'll try and allow, actually, I'll just move that across so I can't see what they're doing in the distance here. So as long as you can see it a little bit. <laughs> okay, good, it kind of blocks my view. All right, good. Fit apart for a moment. Breathe in. Breathe out. Now breathing in, now think of the rainforest, think of the edge of the ocean. Breathing out. Settle the energy down through you. Breathing in. Breathing out. Okay. Breathing out. While you're breathing out, just move your body across, move your feet. Breathing in. Join. Take the longest of times on the up cycle. Breathing out. Complete that breath right to the base. Breathing in. lift, really connecting those three energy areas together, breathing in, breathing out, if you're feeling a little disconnected, it's a nice breath to do, as many times as you like, and again, Put in, breathing in, breathing out, breathing in, 
fading out. Your feet separate. Breathing in. Breathing out. Feel the extension pushing in two different directions heaven and earth. Breathing in. Breathing out. Breathing out. <coughs> Breathing in. Breathing out. Breathing in. Breathing out. Breathing in. Breathing out. Letting your body relax. Letting your feet in. Breathing in. Breathing out. Breathing out. Breathing in. Breathing out. Separate your feet. One, two, Breathing in. Breathing out. Breathing in. Breathing out. Breathing out. Breathing in, breathing out, breathing in, breathing out, letting this just settle down through our body. Open the bow, fire the arrow. It's all about the healthy aspects of your kidneys, oh, sorry, of your liver and its functions. And again, breathing out. Separate your feet again. Breathing in, 
raise your palms or your fingers and your palms face to the ground. Breathing out, turn your head, turn your hands, open your chest, open your arms. Breathing in. Breathing out. Breathing in. Breathing out. It's like you're standing in a beautiful rainforest on the edge of the ocean, wherever it may be. Just bringing that energy through you. Bringing that chi right down through your body, right through the channels, just to distribute it well. And one more. Wide one, wide two, wide three. Make sure you're here in front if you've got a good spine that you can bend your knees with. Rest your hands on the inside of your thigh. Press down and push your chin forward. Beautiful, and breathe out. Now breathing in, turn your body. Lift it up. Breathe out, keep the weight on that side, feet it right across, breathing in, breathing out, try and get your body turned as far as you can, across the centre, breathing in, breathing out, breathing in. Center. Bring your foot in, bring your foot in, breathing in, breathing out. Swing your head, wag your tail. Harmony, ease, self love. Eliminate your heart fire. That can be kind of jealousy as well. kidneys, down your straightish legs, all the way down, around, breathing in, lift it away from your body, breathing out slowly, round, down, <coughs> Breathing in. (coughs) 
sepedinya This is the last one. It's all about the waterworks. This is all about the kiddies. And the energy that they bring to the table. Pretty good. Pretty now. Again, the same. Become detached. Breathe in. Allow this energy to go down through you. Generate the energy and then dissipate it through your body. Again, breathing in. Breathing out. Separate. Breathing in. Like you're forming two fists, drop your weight. Breathing out. Looking over the top of that fist. Breathing in. And straighten your body. Breathing out. over that fist, breathing in, breathing out, breathing in, breathing out. Settle through. That's for the angry side of you. To release that allows the liver to remain healthy. Breathe out. And again. Breathing out. Set the food a little bit wider, but not too much. Breathe in. And as you breathe out, keep your legs fairly straightish. A little bit of a bend. Bring your body right down. Try and bring your head down between your knees. Now bend your knees, put your bum in underneath, breathing in. Look past your body, behind you. Breathing out very slowly. Let your shoulders and arms start to relax. Shock springs further down, still completing your breath out. Put your head down as far as you can. Bend your knees, tuck your bum under, breathing in and up.
breathing out, relaxing. Continue the breath out. Shake your back seven times to eliminate a hundred illnesses. Breathing out. This one, the last one, just to dig it right in there. Breathing in, breathing out, and settling it right through there. together for a moment. Thumbs, fingers, good posture, knees unlocked. Open your mouth a little, put your tongue to the roof of your mouth. Breathing in through your nose. Let it come right into your skull, right into your shin. Let your tongue drop, breathe out through your mouth. Let oil, the air escape. Breathe out. Saw nice and gentle again. Wash those hands, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, and one more. Give yourself a good slap. Give your throat a good slap. And give your heels a good. Fantastic. Very good. Good. Pop your feet together. Sergeant. Cheers.